Hey there, friends. What is poppin'? My name is Rabbit, and thank you for joining me for episode number 31 of Let's Play Through Lufia and the Fortress of Doom on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. In our last episode, we talked to Jaren briefly following us saving her from the follower, and it really left a little bit to be desired. She did want to join us, and I'm sure had quite a bit to say, but we were resistant to taking her along, so we dumped her in Belgium, and we headed eastward to a new town called Serenegal. There's nothing really going on here, but we did learn from some of the locals that in order for us to gain access to a town called El Freya, we need to go through another area known as the Lost Forest, but in order to find our way through the Lost Forest, we need the directions from an elf. So. We don't know what we're gonna do, but we are ready to do something and see what happens. But before we go ahead and advance the story, I do wanna share with you that I did decide to go back to the shop after reloading. So here, I'll just show you, it'll be faster. And I decided to pick up some big arrows. I got like 20 of them, about 20 high arrows, and I think maybe 10, 15 of the bombs. I figured, We've got so much gold, look at what I even still have remaining, so why not go ahead and just grab a couple extras? Um, we do know that the bombs are a nice AOE, and I probably should be using the arrows a little bit more than I have been. So that is everything that I did without you guys. Let's head on down. We're going to focus on, well, first of all, let me focus on killing these monsters, might be nice. And you know what, while I'm thinking about it, the bombs, Pretty short, yes, so they are full AOE. I didn't want to lie to you guys, and maybe it was a bit of a waste to use that bomb, but we've got plenty of, of items, so I'm not worried about it, and I don't know why he felt it was necessary to heal. Nobody even touched you, but whatever makes him feel good, I guess. Maybe it makes him feel like he's got a little bit of padding, and you know what? In our last episode, I was thinking that Luvia was going to gain a level, but we spent so much time in town that she did not. So maybe this will be the episode where she does. And oh, let me just check. Oh, archers. Okay, you guys are going down. I don't want to mess with you. Not at all. We will kill them. We'll see what this little area is. And my gosh, I forgot how much damage they do. So yeah, we are not going to play any games with them. Their physical attack's not bad, but when they start throwing those arrows, which kind of circles back to why I also wanted to go ahead and grab some arrows, because it can it can really pack a wall up against the enemy. Ooh, or against me. Lufia, come on, girl. We just got started. Let's not go down like this. Pretty, pretty, please. Yeah, we are going to hop right in here and not even idle. Now, what on earth? This almost looks like a weird little campsite. Who are you? The Lost Forest is just ahead, but you'll never get through without a guide. Is there someone who can show us the way? Well, yes, but she's only a child. Do you still want to go? Uh, well, I guess yes, we need to, we need to, so I don't know if we have a lot of wiggle room here, child or not. All right, you can come out now. What? Jaren? Hello, Kenzo. J- Jaren? I knew you'd have to come this way if you were continuing your journey. So you beat us to it while we were shopping till we were dropping in Serenegal. She came here to uh, the Lost Forest Station. Hey, old man, this child won't do. Isn't there anyone else? She's the only one. Kenzo, let's try it without her. We might be able to find the way through by ourselves. Only elves know the way through the forest. No, duh, Lufia. We just talked to people in town who told us this exactly. You're not an elf. I'm half elf, so I know the way, but for you, it's not possible. What do you say, Kenzo? Yeah, I feel like Aguro's the only reasonable person here where he's probably like, can everyone just shut up? She knows the way. We've got to go. Just protect her, if anything. If we can protect Lufia, we can protect this girl. What choice is there? We know no other elves. And by the way, the audacity of Lufia to even comment on whether or not Jaren is an elf or not uh, when this guy presented her as one and even Aguro mentioned as much several ep episodes ago that she was clearly half elf. Oh, that's so ridiculous, but whatever. So you'll let me join your party, she says. It's so dangerous. Why do you want to come with us? You saved my life. I want to help you, Kenzo. 
I... I understand. Lead on, Miss Jaren. Woohoo! Just Jaren, please. Right, let's go, Jaren. Yay! So, friends, Jaren joins the party! And now we are a group of four. Amazing. Kenzo, wait a moment. Calm down, Lufia. She's just a child. You can't tell with half-elves. And besides, I'm calm. All right, all right. Kenzo, are you really going to let her join our party? I mean, we let you come along. There's no one else to guide us. We have to count on Jaren. I agree. I don't. Why not? Why? Just, well, just because. That's why. I'm the only girl in this group, and we can't have another beautiful woman here. That's not an answer. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I love it. What's wrong with Lufia? She's just jealous. It's always the same thing. Nothing to worry about. Kenzo! Oh my gosh! Well, I guess she had the final say. I'll go first, Kenzo. Is she always like this? <laughs> that is a hard yes, Jaren. A very, very hard yes. Okay, sir. What? You don't need a guide? You're tired. Do you want to rest? Yes, I do. Lufia almost died just in the process of us getting from town to this area, so absolutely. And while I'm here, can I rob you blind, old man? And yes, is the answer to that question. We got a swing wing. We got a sweet water. I love my freebies. A revive, always nice. Anything else that might be hidden. And friends, I think that is it for what we can steal. But the question now is, how is Miss Jaren looking in terms of her equipment and her stats? So let's take a second. Her attack power is not the best. It is the worst right now on the team. But keep in mind, she is not fully equipped. So I'm more doing this just to kind of gauge where she's at. Defense is 41. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of sprucing up of baby girl here. So, now that we've got her permanently in our party, let's start off, I think I've got better shoes for her. This is going to lower her defense, but I think in the long run, this is gonna be better in terms of other stats for her. So we're gonna, just trust me you guys, we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. We're gonna throw the heel shoes on her. What I also want to go ahead and do We've got a bunch of rings here. I want to opt for the flame ring. Then let me see. We don't have anything for these two slots here. Nothing for shield, nothing for helm. Her armor can't be upgraded right now either. But what we could do, if you guys recall, I've been holding on to a couple of specialized potions. So scrolling on down here, and I know it's very possible that I've missed one or two along the way. We already addressed this numerous times throughout this journey that I am confident I missed a couple of hidden items and hidden treasures in the first like 10, maybe 15 episodes of the Let's Play. So I might have missed a potion, but I have been hoarding some of these potions because they do give you permanent stat increases. So it's kind of up to you how you want to optimize your party. I am going to focus on really building specific stats on specific team members. And again, I am not saying that this is the best way to do this. I know in some other games that I've played for you guys in the past, Legend of Lagai is a great example. I randomize who gets which of the permanent stat increasing consumables. But here, I'm not going to mess around with that. I'm not going to randomize it and just throw it on everyone. I'm going to focus on really honing specific stats because I think spreading it out a little bit is not going to make that big of an impact in this game as will actually forcing one person to chug all of the spell potions or uh, I'm sorry, all of the speed potions, for example. So looking at the speed potions, I am going to give this to Jaren. I think will be the best way to play this. So she gets three agility increase. Again, remember this is permanent. She gets only one. Ooh, that's a little nasty. So what you could also do, because I believe it is random, uh, I believe it's a random value between one and three. You could save somewhere, 
give her the potion, and then if she doesn't get three, you know, reload and do it again. I'm not messing with that. So she got three, one, two. Maybe she'll get eh, another two. That's not bad. If you want to be hackney and mess around, then you absolutely can. But, you know, I don't think that's really necessary. But okay, let's hurry up. Power potions. We've got seven of these, and I believe these increase HP. And I don't know if it really matters. You can honestly give this to whoever you really want to. I'm going to focus on the girls because their HP lags behind a little bit. So we got five for Jaren. Maybe the value is one to five, not one to three. I don't even know. But you guys know what I'm saying. There is a random value. Obviously, we've learned that already just by experimenting with this. So we got plus five, plus four. We'll give Jaren another one. Mm three. Let's put one on Lufia. So she got four. We got five. And then we'll do another one. So five. Okay. So now the girls are pretty even out there. Let's go ahead and do the great potion. I think I have a few of these. I do. I actually have six. I think, again, it's kind of up to you how you want to do this. I think I'm going to give the great potions to a guru, but you could in theory really force them all on Kenzo. But let's just let's just do this. So two strength, not the best, but that's okay. Another two strength. One strength. Oh my gosh, this is sucking so bad. Maybe I should have followed my own advice and uh, gone back and saved and did my hackney route, but it's it's okay. I think we're sitting pretty and we don't have too much to worry about here. Next, I want to go back to the spell potions. I'm going to focus on Kenzo, actually. Lufia has plenty of mana points, and really the next person who I'll be using a lot of spells uh, will be Kenzo. Jaren does have mana as well as you can see, but I'm not as concerned about her mana accrual and how much I'll be needing to count on her for spells as Kenzo. So anyway, we're going to give this to him, plus four MP. Now, it does really depend on you. You could opt to give these to Lufia if you really wanted to, but I think Kenzo is the, the winner here. So we'll throw those all on him, and he got a nice increase from 55 to 78. So I would say that is absolutely worth it. And then the last thing that we have are mind potions. We don't have that many, five. And this should increase, I believe, the in int stat? Yes, it does. And oh my gosh, one is awful. But that's okay. We're another one. Come on, game. Throw me a bone. Three, one, and two. And that should wrap up all of the stat increasing potions that I have. I'm just glancing through to make sure I use them all up. Okay, so we are looking good, friends. Everyone has had their stats permanently increased. I'm just going to go ahead and sleep again. I guess I should have did this before talking to the old man, but it is what it is. So that is it for all of that. Everyone should be set up. I know Jaren is not looking amazing since I don't have... A bunch of equipment on her but we will get everything we need so do not worry but before I forget let's take a moment to look at her okay let me get my life together <laughs> let's take a moment to look at her spells and then we will advance the story so she's kind of all out of order here so I will definitely get this looking prettier for me because this just absolutely drives me insane there we go I think we should be set up now. I'll fix it if it's not. I don't want to dilly-dally too long. Let's take a look at... Okay. No. Game. Guys, the buttons are killing me, obviously. So, her spells. The first one she has, Escape. It allows you to leave caves and dungeons, and it affects the party. That is a nice one to, ha to have. Game. I just want to look at everything. Please stop messing with me. We have frost, which is a wave of ice crystals that hits all enemies. We have poison, which we already have seen before. The antidote for, for poison. I hate the name of that spell. I think it's a little absurd, but it is what it is. We've got spark, which is a column of flame, and it hits a group of enemies. This is why I decided to give her the flame ring or fire ring, whatever it's called, because we are going to be relying on spark quite a bit. Uh, with Jaren. We've got Strong, which heals. We've had this before. Stun, antidote for paralysis. Again, do not ask me 
why they named the status healing spells the name of the effect. It just doesn't, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. You would think it would even be maybe like a stun, so it's like anti-stun or something to that effect. I don't know what they were thinking, but we also have warp on Jaren, which allows us to travel to any town. So perfect, we are looking good. We divvied up all of our stat increasing items. We slept, we gave Jaren all of the equipment that we possibly could. Now we are ready to go to the Lost Forest. So let's go ahead and conclude the last itty bitty bit of our video by going southward to the Lost Forest and then we will kickstart our upcoming episode number 32 by exploring it. So we're killing these archers first. I do not think so. And why don't we just throw off a spark just so you guys can see what, what it looks like and what it does. And I'll throw dew on the skeletons. I just wanna be absolutely sure these archers die because they are, they're a mess. And I actually am liking, I think the way that I handed out the potions was I don't wanna say the most appropriate, but I think especially when it comes to bringing up the HP, so that one I will say for sure. I think you want to really make sure your weaker party members have that added buffer, and yeah, we'll just attack. Uh, the archer's got to go, because look at my girls already. So them having the HP, I think, is imperative to, to surviving some of the upcoming encounters that we're going to be facing. Yeah, poor girls, they are looking pretty rough. But hey, Jaren is not that far from getting where she needs to be. So you know what, actually, I was saying, let's end our episode at the start of The Lost Forest. But you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a couple levels on Jaren. And I hate, I hate doing this without you guys because Luffy is about to get a level. So maybe let's see if we can end with a level for both girls. And I will let you guys see everyone's stats before we part ways and then everyone's stats when we, oh my gosh, come back. I think this is probably a good opportunity to get Jaren where she needs to be. Oh God, we've been ambushed, so not my idea of a good time. But you know what? I did buy some high arrows myself. Let's, let's wrap up by actually using those because otherwise we are uh, going to get our butts whooped a little bit. I'm going to use Bang, because I'm sick of their crap, for sure. And if Jaren can survive this, uh, that would be incredible. Let's use, I think I'll use the high arrows, because I've got a few of those. Oh, maybe I won't. Hmm, let's just throw Spark on them then. Oh my gosh, stop it. Oh, they do so much damage. Jaren might die. And that would be really terrible, but I guess it is what it is. As long as we can just kill these freaking enemies in this go around, then everything should be fine. Ooh, but this was a little too close for comfort, that is for sure. Oh, Jaren, you missed. All right, guys, we're just going all in. Oh, thank goodness he attacked a guru. Yeah. Definitely going to need to do a little bit of grinding. And oh my goodness, Sophia is 87 HP from getting her level. And Jaren is 121. Yeah, we're definitely healing up here super quickly. I'll just waste all of the mana because it won't matter. We can sleep for free. So if ever there's a quick and easy oops, place to do the training and to do the grinding, it would be here and it would be now. All right, let's have one last encounter together, friends, and then I'm going to sleep. And oh my gosh, I, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> We're not doing this. But at least you guys can actually see Spark now. Oh good, Aguro, he was like, no, not today, Satan. We are getting rid of these guys before they get rid of us. Yeah, and Jaren starting at level 14 is a little uncool. Oh my goodness, please, please stop. She's so close to the level she needs. Kane, okay, please. I don't wanna have to use, oh, okay. I was gonna say, I don't wanna have to use my revive to bring her back, but it won't be the end of the world if, if I do. Okay, 
There we go, and we got a foul water, which is okay, I suppose, but there's a level I was looking for for Lufia. She got five extra health points, 10 mana points, two strength, seven int, and three magic resistance. Wonderful, and now Jaren is level 15, which is fabuloso. Eight HP, seven MP, five strength, four int, six agility, and six magic resistance. And Jaren is 941. Uh, experience points away from getting her next level. So I will do that without you guys. Thank you for humoring me and sticking along. We will rest up together. And as I already mentioned, when we come back together in video number 32, we are going to be southbound. We will check out the Lost Forest with Jaren because she is the one that has the information we need to actually advance. And just so you guys can see the stats, for those of you that care, I won't track all of this just because that'll take too long for an opening when we do come back together in episode 32. But here are Kenzo's stats at level 18 if he does hit level 19 you'll be able to see the comparison when we come back same situation for Aguro level 17 here are his stats here is where Lufia is at with level 18 I doubt she's going to go up again but just in case and lastly, but certainly not least, here is Jaren's page. And we will definitely be seeing a pretty significant adjustment to her stats because I'm aiming to get her up probably two more levels is what I'm going to shoot for. So when we do return, she should be, if not level 17, close to hitting level 17. And we will continue the events of the story together. So until then, my friends, take care, be good, and I, your host, Rabbit, eagerly look forward to seeing you in my upcoming episode of Let's Play Through Lupia and the Fortress of Doom on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. I'll see you guys there. Bye!